The gift of men is mortality. Freedom from the circles of the earth. While elves stay tied to the will of the earth, immortal, the gift of men allows men to die. The gift of men is a curse, and here's three reasons why. Gift of Men is death? Oh great, they get diseases and age, spending their golden years trying to stave off sickness until they lose control and they leave their families and loved ones to mourn. Wow, what an amazing gift. Have you ever been hungry to death? Pain, that's what we get. That's the gift of man, pain. Yes, pain, give me all the pain. I'm a masochist, I want more pain. And don't get me started about the Elves are jealous about the mortality Elvish propaganda, if you ask me. Just think about it! Elves sitting in the lands of Valnor, drinking their cup of tea. Meanwhile, humans are shitting their pants because they're losing control of their bowels because of their age. I've shit my pants before, and I'm 28, bruv. They have free will? Yes. Because they have a shorter lifespan, they have control of their own destiny and have free will. Oh, great. Free will to be evil? We can choose our destiny. Free will to choose what we want to do. But if we choose poorly, we're going to get cursed. Like the cursed men of Dunharrow who chose to broke their oath. And then they became ghosts. Yes, free will to choose what we want to do in the lands of Arda. Oh, wait, this just in. King of Numenor sails his ship west to figure out what's going on, and now his entire kingdom is underwater thanks to a certain god who gave us free will to do what we want to do in the lands of Arda. Thanks, Eru Luvitar, for letting us choose our own destiny. Oh, by the way, elves are bound to be good? If I'm not mistaken, orcs... They were elves once. And if they're all so good, I do vaguely recall a certain kin slaying by one sons of Fanor. But it's okay, because elves don't really die, they just go to the lands of Valnor. But wait, where do humans go then? <laughs> humans were jealous of long life, that much is a fact. But what did they really get? Disease, age, sickness, free will to be easily corrupted. One question, where do they go? Manway has the answer. Oi, mans don't know in it. Oi, mans don't know in it. Powerful words coming from the most powerful of the Valar. You're telling me that we should be thankful of our short life? And you don't even know where we go? Well, there's one more powerful than Manway. Morgoth had this to say. Beyond the circles of the world, I will not pursue them. For beyond the circles of the world, there is nothing. But within them, they shall not escape me. Until they enter into nothing. Oh jeez, Morgoth. The most powerful of the Valar, more powerful than Manway. Manway had no idea. But if there's one Valar who would know, it would probably be someone more powerful than Manway, Morgoth, who says there is nothing. 
So let's compile this circumstantial evidence. Humans have short lifespans, but they have the free will and the destiny to control anything in the lands of Arda. You know what's in the land of Arda? Valinor? Okay, let's go to Valinor to figure out what's going on with this immortality thing. Oh, wait! God said no! And now our ships are sunk and a kingdom destroyed! Elves keep their key to immortality. Humans are just going to die. Nobody knows where to go. The most clear answer we got was, there is nothing. My money is on the cult of Melkor because they actually have answers. And don't get me started with the second music of the Ironer where the humans are gonna come back to sing with the children of Iluvatar, which includes the elves. They, they're, they're still here. They were in Valinor, which is elvish heaven. Oh, in bliss, drinking their cup of tea. Why couldn't we get our own Valinor? Why couldn't we get our own heaven? Huh? Instead, we get nothing. Actually, you know who does get nothing to dwarf? I don't think they're... They're not part of the children of Illuvatar, are they? I guess, I, I guess the grass is greener on the other side. 